overcoming the need to always be busy. It's no secret that in our society, those who are not busy all the time are viewed as lazy. Even people at work that take quick breaks or want to use all their vacation days are often viewed as people who do not want to work. But why does everyone want to be so busy all the time? While it's true that it might be part of the work ethic, it can also mean that we're just worried about other people's opinions of us. Sometimes we might also be busy all the time if we're trying to avoid other parts of our life. For example, sometimes people who are experiencing problems with their families might stay busy at work to try and avoid going home and the emotions that are there. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss why we are always too busy and the need to overcome it. Why do you feel like you need to be busy? The first thing you need to do is determine why you feel like you need to be busy all the time. If you're trying to meet deadlines for work, a season of busyness is normal and valid. However, if you can't remember the last time you were not busy, this is a sign that things need to change. Try to figure out why you are always so busy if there is nothing important you need to do. Maybe it's because you're trying to avoid something, or maybe it's because you feel like you need to be busy just because your family and co-workers are also busy. Whatever the reason is for always being busy, you can try and start changing things so that you can start living life rather than just being busy all the time. Busyness to avoid feelings One of the main reasons why people stay so busy is because they are trying to avoid feelings. Here are some signs that you're not actually busy, but trying to avoid emotions. 1. You don't have room in your schedule to spend time with friends or others. 2. You're constantly burned out and have no regular social connections. 3. You feel like you cannot take care of yourself because you are so busy. 4. You find yourself always feeling angry, resentful, frustrated or anxious. 5. When you stop being busy for a few hours or days, you feel like you are sad, lonely or anxious. 6. Anytime you are faced with emotions, you throw yourself into a new task so that you can be busy. 7. People are always asking you why you are so busy and telling you that you do too much. If these things feel familiar to you, it means you always feel the need to be busy regardless of whether you really have urgent or important things to do. So, what can you do about it? How to overcome busyness Here are some simple ways you can get back on your feet and overcome the need to always be busy. Spend time outdoors every day. Make notes of how you feel and journal about the emotions you are trying to avoid. Rest as much as you can and have time only for yourself with no other distractions. Check in with yourself and make sure your needs are always met before attending to others. Meditate and exercise so you can get frustration and anger out of the body. I hope this tutorial helped you to recognize the signs of being too busy in your life and taught you how to overcome busyness with a life with purpose.